For demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and replace this relay for a Samsung dryer. It's in, totally encased in plastic and silicone. We call them potted boards. And to do this, I'm going to go ahead and use a hot knife. You can buy these for about 30 bucks on eBay or Amazon. Uh, they're also available at Harbor Freight. It takes between like three to five minutes to heat this thing up. So rather than just uh, sit there with your hand on the button waiting, uh, what I did is I just put a uh, zip tie around the power button uh, and just let it sit, keep it on. Uh, that way you could do other stuff. Uh, you do want to clean the blade. Uh, you can use a, a box knife or steel wool or both. I use a uh, Sharpie to mark where I'm going to make my cuts. That way I don't have to worry about uh, guessing and uh, having to cut again. Now when you do uh, go to make your cuts, basically you want to have the knife blade uh, at a perpendicular angle. And you just press uh, firmly down into the plastic. You'll feel it get to the bottom and then it just flattens out and then you just move on to the next next part there. I'll use a flathead screwdriver, uh, making sure that I don't hit the board, um, and just pry up that plastic. Underneath that plastic is a silicone, and again, I use the hot knife at a at a uh, very low angle uh, to expose those uh, solder joints. You can use the plastic that you cut out uh, to reseal the board if you choose to do this. I use isopropyl alcohol and uh, just let it sit for a little bit, a few seconds, and, and you see it just kind of starts dissolving that silicone. I use a brush to uh, to encourage it. So after about a minute of, of scrubbing and, and spraying more alcohol in there, I uh, have good access to that, those uh, solder joints. I use tip tender to clean the tip. And that way it uh, it makes it just a lot easier to solder and desolder components. It uh, makes it w so that the solder does not uh, ball up and uh, it flows very well. Then using the desoldering gun, and I desolder the component. I use the Hakko desoldering gun. I've used it for 20 years, so I'm really used to it. And it's the best desoldering system that I've uh, seen out there in the field. And basically what I do is I, I put it on the, the pin and the pad and usually wait a, a second or two depending on the size of the pad and then just suck that solder out of there and it works great. So on the top what we have to do is separate the silicone from the relay. So again I take the hot knife and I just uh, put it between the silicone and the relay on all sides and just to separate it so I can um, able, be able to uh, take that relay out. And now on this one I do uh, on all sides except the side with the capacitor because I don't want to damage the capacitor. Uh, I only uh, put it right there and I don't put it next to the capacitor. But all the other sides I, I have clean access. You'd, and you don't want to scrape the board with the knife um, that that can damage the board. So you just want to be careful not to have any scraping action with any tools. And I use a vice grip to just kind of pry it out of there. Uh, as long as your solders are are desoldered properly, it'll it'll come out um, pretty easily. So now it's time to put a new relay in. I do have this uh, relay on my truck stock. So I put it in, and using the desoldering gun, I will also solder it. Again, I just uh, heat the pad a bit before I solder. You don't want to leave the soldering iron on too long because that can damage the pads. The, the pad can start to separate from the board. As you can see, you don't need to leave it on a long time. Uh, with the larger pads, you do have to leave it on longer than the smaller pads. So just keep that in mind. Um, practicing is the best thing for you to do. Get old scrap boards and just take components out, solder in new components. And that's the best way you can uh, just practice before doing it in the field. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. And we'll see you next time.